Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. As I'm sure you're aware, um, Vlad and I recently did a building challenge and we have been overwhelmed by the number of people that have taken part. So thank you all for that. Um, I obviously did the video with Vlad, but I had this idea of doing a tiny, teeny tiny tree house which there is a video on my channel if you haven't seen it. It was just something a little bit of fun. I liked the challenge. I wanted to do a tree house and it has been quite popular. But I wanted to do a building 101 of a tree house and I wanted to make it slightly bigger to make it a more usable camp. So that is what I have done and I will give you a quick tour. I have used the same tree I have built in this tree before on a different um, character a few years ago so for me it was always the perfect treehouse tree. Recently I saw one identical somewhere else in the game but unfortunately I cannot for the life of me remember where it is. I will show you on the map where we are. We are on the road between Sunshine Meadows and Point Pleasant. I usually come down here from Marigold Pavilion. But you could just run along the road. The one slightly annoying thing about this tree is that it faces south. So it means when you're facing this way, the front door, it's actually pretty much due north. So, um, yeah, it's quite difficult to get flattering shots because of the light. So, now this version is actually a floating camp. I have built a very decorative but completely useless um, conduit ladder up to it. And um, I don't normally do this, I just... This build for me was form over function, I'm afraid. I will show you different methods if you don't want a floating camp. It does mean you need marsupial or a jetpack to get up here, um, which means low levels will not be able to get up here. I have, however, put my vendor in my workshop, which, as you can see, is up there on the hill. So I took all the little things that I really liked from my teeny tiny tree house and just pretty much expanded it. You will have pieces of tree in your tree house. Um, it is difficult to um, build here as it is without having to try and exclude those. This is the kitchen. I have my floating ducks over the door. I was wandering around with the doormat thinking where am I going to put this and of course I put it where a doormat goes so that kind of worked out quite well. I did try to get a fair amount of clutter in here. This is the first balcony, which is made using this, um, this lookout. Um, I have, I've been trying to be creative with my plants. I've merged some little succulents into these death claw eggs, which I quite like. I've also been making seats from s benches and uh, stash boxes. There are great views here. This is the bedroom. You can use the bed. Well, actually, you cannot use the bed. 
There are two sleeping bags merged together on it. If you pick the back one, you can use it as a working bed, but if you try and use the bed or the front sleeping bag, it doesn't work. It's just because of the positioning of the stairs above it. It can be a little tricky to get out sometimes. <laughs> if you want to know how I got all this stuff under this staircase, a friend of mine called Vlad Administrator, who you probably know, actually came up with this idea and he has put a video on his channel of how he did it. And I will put a link to that down below. There is a second balcony. I have my beehive here and a hammock. I've kind of gone for a scrappy feel, but not overly scrappy it's I've kind of decided this is Lucy scrappy <laughs> I just like pretty things so I want it to be pretty and attractive but still look kind of law friendly so that is the tree house I built my workshop up here My vendor is here. I was quite pleased with how these fences turned out. I have worked out recently that you can hang hanging items from a conduit. So it's a half pillar, a conduit and the uh, barbed wire fence. So... I will show you how to build it. Right, so I have moved my camp widget. I placed it here just in front of the tree. And we are going to start building. Now, if you want to have a floating camp, you are effectively going to have to build this twice, but it is quite a small build. Um, and I will show you how you start. We need to put a foundation down. And some of this is going to be trial and error because you need to map out, put the ladder on the back of the foundation, you need to map out the space and whether or not you can get, now obviously you can see that that floor piece is going through the tree. So we have to turn our foundation That's looking a little bit better. This branch of the tree curves inwards, so it's a bit awkward. One. Right. Now we've got another problem in that it's too close to the back tree. Basically, keep doing this until you can get the floor pieces on. Then you have to see if you can put the walls on. So after much toing and froing, it does sometimes take a while. I have something that looks like this. And 
you can test out the other pieces if you want. Um, I have found generally if you can get these floor pieces on then the rest should go on like this which they do but obviously you will have a few pieces of tree and if it helps this is the positioning of my floor piece it's obviously quite far to the right of the base of the tree and it's almost parallel I think to begin with I was coming in at too much of an angle so this is what it should look like now now if you are happy with that you can just carry on building your tree house and using this foundation I don't know if you can get another foundation behind it we will try Yep, you can actually if you want to do that and you can take this one out and just have a foundation. If you want to build a floating camp, what you need to do is on this side, put a ladder down and add a foundation. I'm going to add a, a cement one because I find them a bit more forgiving. When they're up higher we can remove this ladder now and we are going to take everything down <laughs> if you want the double ladders like i did in my teeny tiny tree house i will show you how to do that you have your foundation in place here with your ladder like this um, i have not attached the upper floors yet. Once you attach them, when you do it with this method, you will not be able to remove them. So you're going to add another ladder underneath so it's connected to that ladder. But it won't let you remove the foundation. To remove the foundation, build a ladder. an upper floor and ladders down to another foundation like so. Now with this ladder lower here we remove this top ladder here. We should now be able to remove the foundation you can remove all of this stuff here like this and you can attach a ladder to this ladder and then carry on building the one thing I will say is like with the floating camp because this does not have a foundation once you place your upper floors you cannot remove them unless you add a foundation so, come on, it can be a bit tricky, let's try, there we go. Once you get that foundation back in, you can simply, whoops, nope, <laughs> simply remove the ladders and then the foundation. Right, to do the floating camp, we are going to use a wall. like this. This wall is actually facing the wrong way round so we can add another foundation on the other side. Make sure the wall is facing inwards and we are going to add catwalks. Now the catwalks walks we're going to add are one, two, three. That is the middle part of the cabin tree house. That is the second part but we have one tile for the ladder going down to get to this one. So three whole catwalks. We can then add a ladder 
and we need to add it like this so that it is going up away from the catwalk. You now have a floating ladder. I'm going to leave this foundation in place in case I make a mistake and I have to redo it because we don't want to start again. We have the saved position. So as previously, because this is a floating camp, once you add these floors, you cannot remove them without building a ladder down. Scarlet's going to put her building hat on because it's getting a little bit dark. <laughs> It's just so that I can see what direction the floors are going. Right. One underneath the ladder. And one on the top of the ladder. Now we need to add the walls. Oh, actually, I also need to add a floor here. It's actually getting a bit dark, so I'm going to re-log my server so that you can see what I'm doing. The one thing I would really like on Fallout Worlds is the ability to set the time to a specific time of day, like 11 o'clock in the morning, so that when I'm building, <laughs> I can see what I'm doing. Right. The floors are down, three and one, and I have also added a half floor on the end here, and I have noticed now that the floors are going in the wrong direction, to put on um, the guard post. You need something to support that. I'm going to start with the walls. I used the red barn set for here, and I did double wall the front door. It's the only double wall. Come on. It will go on. There we go. Right. It's the only double wall in the build. Most of the build was done using these plain wooden walls. We need windows there, a plain wall here, and here, and here, and another window here. We need to add the guard post. You need something to support this, it, especially if you want a doorway here. Um, I did actually push it out as far as it would go and then flame trapped it to get those half barbed wire fences on. These will not snap on to upper floors, but you can just place them, line them up manually and place them. And then repair this. This section had a sloped roof. Uh, 
and we had we need head what headroom to get out of here so we need another doorway at the top of the stairs a half wall like this I think I put a half wall on here and then like this I think in my build I swapped out some of these pieces I made this a Halloween window Halloween house set window and I made this one one of the contemporary set windows and I think I just randomly changed some walls up however you want to do it I wanted to make it look like they had um, kind of scavenged different bits of buildings from around the wasteland right roofs I think the roofs were mostly the same I used these black ones mainly because I wanted to use um, different styles of roof different shapes um, I like this wedge shape here which I can't see it <laughs> there we go that's the one I used there we go this one goes on here hopefully there we go then another sloped piece you might want to close that up <laughs> but you could leave it with air holes now this one I tried to put one of these um, roofs on but it wouldn't fit so I actually used this sort of pyramid roof and I really hope it's going to go on Oops. Now try and jump up on the roof to do this. There we go. So those are the roofs and I actually really like the sort of higgledy piggledy roof line because it looks like someone um, has sort of built a tree house and extended it. For power, I actually used the solar panel and I managed to, by dropping down on here, get it onto this tree here. And then I just placed conduits on the wall. I did actually pass one down they are very tricky to get on from here you can do it from the floor and break your legs luckily I have 100% full damage on my armor what you can do is you can if you if this happens to you and you can't get these ridiculous conduits on you can place the foundation down build a ladder up or two as long as it's not connected to this build you should be fine and you can add your conduits like that I did pass one underneath the building as well because I wasn't getting any power in the porch area now you have a problem there so you might need to add one right on the edge as well
like this. There we go. And then you can just get rid of this. As I said, I really like the roof line. Uh, I think it's quite attractive and it makes it look sort of that it's been built up over time. For this porch, I used these fences. They won't snap on, but you can place them. If you can't get something to line up where you want it, just place it and then get closer to it. It's much easier to line it up. And I use barbed wire fences for the rest. So again, these will not snap, but you can place them manually. For some reason, this happened last time. The one on the left was an absolute pain. The one on the right just snapped because they snapped to each other themselves. Just went in, but this one was a pain. <laughs> you get the idea. Decorate liberally with girly, the girly stuff of your choice or the boily stuff of your choice. <laughs> And we're pretty much there. Um, quite often for sort of scrappy builds, I tend to use things like this wallpaper. My favourite is this one because to me it looks like um, plywood that's just been boarded on. Which I think if you are capable of building a house like this, you are not going to want holes in the wall. <laughs> I did mix it up a little bit on this build by adding this just for a bit of texture change and I used that outside on the porch. You can, although you can't re remove these floors, you can change them up to different styles. I just used some scrappy looking floor tiles for the kitchen area you could put carpet in you could also build this in a log cabin set if you want that would look quite nice whatever you want really that's pretty much it if you have built a floating camp like this but you still want people to get up here i did notice that you can use if you have the bridge set this bridge set here. I don't know, you could possibly use um, that one, but this bridge set, um, if you line it up, because it's not actually connecting, I'm just going to do it quickly and badly to show you. You could just do this. Obviously do it straighter than I have. Just a bit of trial and error. The workshop, I actually just built it here. I put three foundations down here. Quite low. They'll go in quite low here, so... Well, <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, like this. I just built this area up. I have actually, I'm quite close to the edge here. On mine, it does go up a little bit further. So maybe put your camp widget a few feet further this way if you want to do that. So I hope that all made sense. 
I hope you like this build. I hope you have fun building tree houses. And if anyone else, if anyone knows where the other version of this tree is on the map, I mean, there may be more, um, then please let me know. I might move. <laughs> you never know. I think this one is going to be a keeper for me. I, I don't can't really see me getting ever getting rid of this. Unfortunately, I'm starting to get a few camps like that and I'm going to run out of camp slots. But I do have a couple of other characters. So I might have end up with some Scarlet clones. We'll see. I'll have to level them up a bit more. So let me know what you think in the comments below. That is all from me today. Thank you for watching.